<laughs> What's up, everyone? I'm here with Richard with Mad VR. And you were showing off your video processor right. called the Mad VR Core Mark II. Yes. We actually are giving you an award for this product because Thank of you. how much it can improve the performance of a new or an existing projection system. So why don't you talk a little bit about the product yeah, and sure. its benefits and what you can do with it. Sure, no, I appreciate that, Bill. Thank you so much for the award. We're really humbled by the response that we've had here at Cedia. There's approximately 15, 16, 17 MV extremes here on the show floor um, that are with our other partners along with our major partnerships. Um, so it's been, this has our, been our biggest presence yet, probably up from 12 units last year. Um, those are the MB Extreme Mark II. Um, we've just released the MB Core Mark II mm -hmm. and the MB Extreme and Pro Mark III. Mm -hmm. And so, what we're showing here today is the MB Core Mark II with a PlayStation and our new gaming mode, mm -hmm. very low latency playing. Uh, people have been loving that. So, essentially, the MB is a video processor, it goes in the video chain after your AVR and before your display, mm -hmm. and it really just increases the performance of your system and your display to another level. So we like to say it's our job to prepare the pixels to look perfect, and it's a display job to actually paint those on the screen. So let's talk about this. One of the big things when it comes to displays is there are their processors, and they have advanced over the years, right? But they're, but they're still, uh, if you're building a TV or a projector, you can only spend so much on the processing side because you got to deal with the light sources, the lenses, and everything, right. and everything else, right? And projection, especially, um, HDR is mastered at incredibly high luminances that projectors just cannot do. Correct. So now it becomes more of tone mapping. How do you take um, all that information and give you as much of the creator's intent as possible? Now that also varies by screen size, by room size, by content, and everything else. And and the ability to customize is probably one of the main things that makes this special, right? Yeah, it's, you hit the nail right on the head, right? Sometimes there's a balance, and how do you find that balance? When it's supposed to be super saturated and super bright, you may have to kind of pick where you need to do. And this is where our patented HDR tone mapping really comes into play. And so while the MB is the only video processor that has patented HDR tone mapping, um, and it really does, you can see kind of going on here on the screen behind us. The highlight details, the shadow details are all there. Yeah, prevent the idea is to get the greatest dynamic range, make sure you're never crushing any blacks, make sure you're never crush, crushing any whites. And it's whether you've got 30, 40, 50 nit mm -hmm. system, or mm -hmm. 300, 500, 800 nit system, mm -hmm. or, or even more. Yep. So we adapt to what is needed by the display. Okay. So having that HDR tone mapping really brings out that brilliance, and that's where that's why like our show partners here, mm -hmm. they're gorgeous, beautiful, high-end displays. So whether it's a very uh, entry-level model that's maybe uh, $1,500, or up to $350,000, super high-end model. They all are using our products, the Mavier MV Extreme line, to really bring out the best and make that tone mapping be okay. what it needs to okay, be. Okay, so for a projector perspective, I can tell you what the main thing that I notice. Um, a lot of projectors, if they try to do the highlight detail and the shadow detail, in order to do that, the, the image comes ends up being kind of flat looking, right? right? Yeah. It also, it, it almost, or sometimes you're making your basically an HDR to SDR adapter, right? It's really, um, and what I've noticed with yours is you can still have those bright, colorful highlights, the shadow detail, but those midtones where the where the faces live, where the scene lives, that's also bright, and and that's all. It's always been a challenge with projectors. Then you also have some other things, like for example, last we were at a show a couple of weeks ago where we had four, um, 16 by 9 content and and 235 content, and we didn't want to continuously change. Um, zoom in and zoom out on the project. You have think ways of changing aspects and formats internally, oh, yeah. movie by movie, things well, like that. For, especially for your audience, which is largely projector based, mm -hmm. any of your audience members that have a scope screen mm -hmm. know the challenges that come along with that mm -hmm. um, and the inconveniences that cause with aspect ratio differences. Mm -hmm. You've got not just movies that change aspect ratios and go back and forth within the same content, but even just going from, say, the Apple TV menu mm -hmm. at 16 by 9, and then you play your content and it's scope, and you have to keep 
going to lens memory mm -hmm. and riding the mm -hmm. remote. Mm -hmm. Or you can automate that sometimes with some complex mm -hmm. you know, automation systems. And you can also automate that now. The Envy will talk directly to masking screens mm -hmm. if they have masking mm -hmm. screens or for projector lens. But most of our customers, what they use is our auto aspect ratio switching. It's instantaneous. It never drops a single frame. And it will automatically deliver at a constant image height and leave the black bars where they are. Mm -hmm. Or alternatively, a lot of people like to reduce or eliminate the black bars. Mm -hmm. And one of the other unique things about the Envy, it's the only video processor on the market that can provide the same functionality mm -hmm. for 16 by 9 screen users mm -hmm. without having to crop. That's awesome. And so it's a big feature. People love that because you lose about 30% of the, of the movie mm -hmm. when you watch a scope movie on a 16 by 9 screen. Mm -hmm. So being able to do that, that's why we're, there's a lot of MV cores that have been paired with TVs, ultra short throws, mm -hmm. you know, lifestyle projectors as well. Mm -hmm. And then even sometimes as you go a little bit higher up. But being able to manage those multiple aspect ratios, mm -hmm. whether you're displaying that a full screen, one way or the other, and never having to lens use lens memory again. It's, it's a convenience. Is it just a, is really a like, fantastic. Yeah. So thing. I love the product, and like I said, the new price points are more are more approachable. So, so let's talk about pricing. The, the top model is the MB Extreme Mark III. Okay. Fifteen thousand nine nine five in the USA. Okay. And then you go down to the cores, right? The MB Pro Mark oh. III uh -huh. is eleven thousand essentially okay. ten thousand okay. nine nine five okay. in the US. Okay. And then you've got the MB Core Mark II, okay. which is 5995 mm -hmm. introductory pricing till the end of the year. Okay. And then you've got its little sister, mm -hmm. the MB Core Mark I, mm -hmm. that is also staying in the lineup. Mm -hmm. Okay, this has been a big hit mm -hmm. and people love it. It's approachable, mm -hmm. it can work in a lot of people's budgets. Mm -hmm. It's still a lot of money, but a lot of people can justify that using with TVs or more entry-level mm -hmm. systems that they may prefer for their budget. Mm -hmm. And so that's now only 4995 Yeah, so if you're already investing in a, um, a high-end a high projector or high-end display, and you already have a nice surround sound system, um, adding that last bit to really pump up your video quality is a no-brainer. And that's what we hear a lot is that it's transformed the image. It's like getting a new projector. Okay. Which will bring any projector display to the next level. Other thing I should mention is that the main difference on these new models is HDMI 2.1, 48 gigabits per second, 4K 120, 8K 60, the whole 4K 120, 444, 12 bit, okay. which is over the 40 gig limit that a lot of video And most are. displays can't even, that's beyond the capabilities of most displays, Today. so you're future proof. Today, future -proof, future proof is great. And we do, we could do output over DSC up to 360 hertz for variable refresh rate. Mm -hmm. And on the input, variable refresh down to one hertz. Okay. And so you, a lot of people are gaming on their systems mm -hmm. now. And so having the ability to have those frames perfectly in sync mm -hmm. provides a great smooth gaming experience that people really never could do before, but now are loving on the end. Okay. Awesome product. Thank if you I so want to much. learn more about um, the Mad VR sure. lineup, where would I go? So you go to madvrmb.com. There's all sorts of guides, setups for different de devices and displays, mm -hmm. as well as our full MB Academy online training is there. Uh -huh. It's open to the public. It's our official dealer training. But we love for the public consumers to be able to watch all the lessons and be able to learn, do a deep dive, and understand everything from what comes in the box, how do you install it, what do I need to do? How do I rack it? What are the ventilation mm -hmm. requirements? Very, very little on, the, on this little baby. Mm -hmm. And then all the way down to the complex things as deep as you want to go. Okay, so Richard, thank you very much. Thank you so much and for the I award. And I see you we next We really show. appreciate it. All right, take care. Okay, thank you so much.